Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock with, you guessed it, another package from Bricklink.com. So before I start digging into this with my knife, I thought that some of you might be interested in where I've got to with the Daily Bugle build. <laughs> Not as high as I'd hope, <laughs> just because uh, of the time that I've had available, but uh, yeah, I've pretty much done the bottom layer now, so that's good. Uh, and the taxi as well which I'm actually deciding not to put taxi stickers on for now and just have as a yellow car. But anyway, that's a quick progress check on that. Uh, back to the order. So this order was inspired by a bit of frustration, actually, uh, at just trying to get the very last pieces for a few projects, some very hard to find pieces and items that I needed to complete some things like my Ultra Agent's uh, baddie, uh, side builds and so on that I just couldn't find in any stores and they aren't available from Lego Bricks and Pieces because they're very old. Uh, so essentially uh, I looked for the uh, store that had the most of them uh, and even then it wasn't a huge amount of different bricks that I needed. Uh, but nonetheless, as usual, I filled my boots with absolutely everything else that interested me from that uh, shop. And I've got to say this should be quite an interesting order. Uh, so I've got a few very uh, hard to find pieces, as I just said. Uh, I've also got quite a few slope pieces that you can see already that were quite keenly priced. But also this person was another one who obviously had a lot of Hero Factory and Barnacle back in the day. So I've got some really weird and interesting pieces, uh, including in some really interesting colours as well. So I'm looking forward to looking at some of those as well. Right, so let's start with this big flat bag which has some very interesting pieces in. So uh, the first one is just one more of these dragon wings that I've already got a few of from 70736, Attack of the Morrow Dragon. And I'm going to use those sort of uh, backdrop foliage. I might even sort of crinkle it a bit like that to get some sort of 3D effect into it. And I think that'll look very much like uh, plant life. Some of you disagree. Some of you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but it will be under C, obviously, as a lot of the stuff will be in this order. So it's really <laughs> annoying, isn't it, that I show you all this stuff and then I'm not going to show you it uh, put to use for quite a long time. But nonetheless, uh, and here's another one I thought I'd experiment with uh, in a very similar vein to that one, actually, as maybe some plant life. And I thought these looked quite like giant leaves that were semi-translucent, of course. Uh, they are actually the wings uh, from a giant flying ant in the set 76039. Ant-Man Final Battle from 2015. Uh, yeah, I do like that set actually, the fact that it's got some really uh, large, sort of enlarged Lego pieces. So I think we've got like a one by two brick and things like that, but they've been, you know, scaled up massively. So it looks like everything's microscopic. I think that's uh, really clever. I mean, it's an fact that it's been done before, but to actually have it part of a sort of normal set with minifigures, I think it's really interesting. Um, anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so I've got a pair of these wings, but I do think they look very leaf shaped. So I could have them like that, or even sort of in a pair like this with some sort of, uh, 3D brick built plant in the middle or something like that. Uh, I think that you can see what I mean quite easily. So I think that's going to work. They're very grubby uh, and unfortunately <laughs> this order is entirely used so it's all going to be washing and I say unfortunately just because uh, I've got <laughs> had a huge amount of used pieces in the last two orders. I only just finished washing it all and it took absolutely ages <laughs> and uh, like all men, I hate doing washing up. I'm kind of allergic to it. But um, if I don't do it, no one else is going to. So, um, yeah, I had to get on with it. Right. So, the first of four big bags. And this one's got all sorts of goodies in. So, this is a great long sort of tentacle piece, really. Or is it a plant piece? It depends on your point of view. I think it kind of looks like a long tentacle from sort of an octopus or something. Uh, or a squid. Indeed, that would be more appropriate because this came from only one set. It's unique to 8917, Kalmar, who we actually saw last week or the week before where we just got his head, um, which was that sort of predator-esque one with the three eyes where you can see it in that picture. Um, yeah, so this was actually kind of a weapon uh, in that set. But yeah, I really like it. Uh, and it's an interesting colour. I've already got some in green and sort of lime green to act as sort of long tentacly plants, but this one could actually be attached to a beastie quite easily. So I like that. Uh, now we got some of these last time, 
these are kind of propeller pieces, but if we attach them, whoop, not like that, but at 90 degrees, then we can pretty much make a stack uh, very quickly that's very awesome and looks like a very cool plant. So I've already got about 10 of these now. So this will probably mean that I don't need any more uh, because they are quite big, uh, but very easily make a plant like that. So they were on all sorts of sets, uh, just sort of general building sets like 9302 community builders set. Uh, and I've got all that you had of those. So it seems anyone who's got any of these has got loads of them. So uh, I can't remember how many were in that set. And here are some really interesting barnacle pieces. So there were two of these, uh, well, two different ones, two pieces in the same sort of color scheme, which is this milky white with this kind of red marbled effect through it. And I thought they both looked like the remnants of some sort of creature <laughs> with kind of like a maybe a bit of the uh, spinal column where the tail was attached or something like that. Uh, maybe this was a sort of backbone where some big spikes came out. Uh, so I thought that these pieces from uh, 8694, Cricker from 2008, could be the remains of some sort of rotting deep sea creature that was almost completely feasted upon, sort of just lying on the sea bed, or even sort of sticking out of some of the foliage or something like that. So it could even be in two pieces, just lying there. And I thought that was worth the experiment, and I think it's going to work. It does look a bit grisly, doesn't it? So there we go, that's them. Uh, now, these pieces we've had several times before and on all sorts of different um, barnacle sets and also on uh, loads of sort of racer sets where there are the sort of flames coming out of vehicles like uh, 8471 Nitro Burner from 2002. And interestingly, that set actually has got a pullback motor as part of it, which obviously Leg have done a few times in the past. But that sort of uh, idea is coming back. It's making a return right now with the summer releases. We're going to have lots of motorbikes that I must resist <laughs> collecting all of um, that are going to be pullback sort of stunt bikes. And indeed, there's going to be loads of uh, monster trucks as well. And I've probably already got enough of those as well. So I don't really need any more. Uh, so those ones we've already had in uh, red before which I can use as either fire in my building fire that I'm planning or uh, under the sea plants I still think they look like most uh, but I've actually managed to get one in blue as well except this is a medium blue and that is a really nice color oh unfortunately it has been chewed and gnawed quite a bit at that end oh, that's annoying so it might be given that this is broken and damaged already that I chopped that very top bit off or something like that or at least hide it behind something else because I'm a bit loath to get rid of it now I've just found it. Anyway, uh, I'll decide on that later. But that was only part of one set, I believe. Uh, 8975 Berix, who is a Bionicle character. So one of those. And that is a shame. And it might be I have to chop all that top bit off, uh, which means it'll still be an interesting shape, but just not as tall as it would have been. And that is a shame. It does show up quite well, or rather quite badly, on this colour. Disappointment number one, oh well. Uh, some other really interesting uh, pieces from Barnacle are these ones, sort of icy, sort of almost crystalline structures. And they're from the character Metus, 8976, where the two of them join together, would uh, form his shield. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to use them all together. It kind of makes a massive snowflake shape, doesn't it? Um, I was thinking they could be more sort of spiky plants again. Uh, and it looked more like that if I can hide all the sort of mechanical bits. That would look very interesting indeed, I think. You always need more than one of something to make it look sort of more realistic, I think. But that looks pretty good. Yep, like that. Uh, and yet more interesting barnacle pieces. This is even more icy. I don't know if this really does actually look organic like a plant or whether this actually looks like ice. Uh, but this is from the character Strac, 8982 from 2009 uh, and he pretty much looks like Jack Frost in my mind uh, with this being part of his ice armor so maybe I'll use that as some really funky ice crystals as part of my arctic setup whenever I get around to doing that as well almost looks like a massive foot doesn't it <laughs> like a yeti's foot and these are his uh, toenails <laughs> uh, yeah so that's that's a really nice piece actually 
If I'm going to use them as Yeti toes, I'll have to get a second one for the other foot, won't I? But yeah, that's a really funny idea. Ah, a miracle of miracles. Here are all my wonderful, hard to find pieces uh, from uh, Ultra Agent sets. So these two kind of form uh, a big gun that are on terabytes mech that's part of 70165 Ultra Agents Mission HQ. And that's from 2014. These are crazy hard to find, it would seem. So there we are, there's a pair of those. And the app that is the other part that I need to finish that mech. I think I've got it all now, definitely, uh, which is obviously the windscreen bit of that mech as well. So yay, good to have those, very good. And obviously this person must have collected Ultra Agent stuff because the other thing that I was missing was two of these purple crystals to go on Antimatter's kind of flying dish thing. Uh, which is only part of 70170 Ultra Copter versus Antimatter from 2015. Uh, so I can finish his wonderful dish as well without buying those very expensive sets. Brilliant. So yeah, they were two of the main reasons for actually choosing this vendor. Uh, and then when I saw all this other just cool stuff that I think will really make my underwater scene a bit above uh some of the generic ones that i've seen uh then all the better uh now here i can never resist a graffiti piece so i'll probably pull it off this piece using my patented hot tea technique uh, but even if i don't it's in really good condition actually so it's tempting when it's this good to leave it on here and maybe just have it as part of a cargo container you can see the outline of the word cargo there's been long lost underneath the graffiti uh, but that's really good. So that was part of um, uh, a Space Police set uh, that was uh, 5972 Container Heist from 2009. And there's about four different ones. I've used these before on uh, the River Trent sort of area that's uh, where that crocodile is and so on. Uh, yeah, but I just can't get enough of them. I just think they look great. Um, what else we got in here? We've got a couple of explosion -y type pieces. One in blue, which I'll probably use for a water spout or something like that. And another one in orange. Can't remember why I bought that one. It's probably just generically useful. Might put it on the end of a gun being fired uh, at the public. <laughs> no, not at the public. That will be going a bit far uh, by the uh, SSP. Um, <laughs> uh, and, oh, one more really interesting piece. Uh, so this is in kind of a flat silver colour. And goodness knows what it is. It's one of those, a widget. Could be part of a really complex gun, couldn't it? Maybe again for the SSP. Uh, this was part of 8926, Toa Undersea Attack, uh, where it was one of the sort of weapon choices there uh, in that Barnacle set from 2007. But yeah, it does look sort of like a part of a highly experimental weapon. Um, yeah, very interesting. So I don't know what I'm going to use that for. You could almost put that on the roof of a skyscraper as well as some sort of telecoms device. Or something like that and everyone would say that's not lego except it is oh and is there a hole there for taking something else yeah so i mean that's well worth playing with um yeah it could be practically anything right uh so then i've got absolutely loads of slopes just normal ones uh, a couple of these uh for adding a bit of color uh probably to one of my rides uh one of those and a few of these posts probably for a fence few hinge pieces and that is that bag so we better get going or we're going to be here all day. Here is a mainly minifigure bag, it would appear. So I have got from the Lego Ninjago movie, the uh, Shark General number one. And she is looking rather good. And I haven't actually bought this figure before, even though I've had her sort of cloak, which I'll probably take off her and use uh, as some sort of undersea sort of fish fin. But I quite like her uniform and her hair is unique to her and probably her head as well. So yeah, I really like her and she was very keenly priced. So may as well fill in a gap where I can. Uh, I've got three of these guys. So Siren coming up for those of you listening on headphones. Turn down the volume now. These guys are clearly gonna top up my super secret police. And uh, I've got, they've all not got the body armor unfortunately, but I've got two with the nice decorated caps and one with only the beanie, which I'll probably get rid of and just, I think I've got a spare helmet, so that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, but they're still really nice to make lots of funny scenes with. And I've got more <laughs> spare robot heads after that, obviously. Uh, another very keenly priced um, Jack, da uh, Jack Davids. 
another Series minifigure that I never had was the football player from Series 8. Some people in our country would call that American football rather than football, just to differentiate it from what Americans would call soccer. But there's always a bit of confusion about American football, which I'm a massive fan of, by the way, NFL. Uh, people say, oh, well, I don't know why they call it football. They barely kick it at all. Uh, yeah, but it's not called football because it's to do with your feet. It's called football because the ball is 12 inches long or a foot long. Uh, and that's why it's called football traditionally. So it's uh, a foot long ball. So that's where that comes from. And he's got the wonderful stripes on his cheeks and the number 12. Has he got an interesting torso under here? Or is it? No, it's just plain. <laughs> yeah, so he'll keep that on then. But the helmet's pretty good. Oh, it lifts up weirdly. I wouldn't do that in real life. But you can understand probably why they do that from a Lego perspective. So that's him. Traffic Cop from Series 2. Now... I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have my chips sort of styled pair of traffic cops on motorcycles being in the SSP or being just regular cops. And if I go for regular cops, this will be one of them. And I've got two of them now. And he's got the nice brown gloves on. So I think I probably will do that because we've got SSP all over the place. And unless I add loads of massive weapons to the uh, motorcycles, I don't think that's going to fit too well. And also the stickers on the bikes, to be honest, say police on them rather than SSP. So... Uh, I'll probably use him as a proper traffic cop. Then I've got two miners. I only got these because they were really keenly priced and because, um, well, when I do my mine, I'm probably going to need quite a few of them. Uh, so these were in a couple of sets, but together they were in 60184, mining team. Uh, well, we've got the foreman with his cool sort of ID badge and so on, and a regular miner. So they're really nice. And then the remaining three civilians were all from the same set. Uh, so I got all of them, because again, they were a good price. Uh, but they've got a couple of unique pieces on them. So we've got this hairpiece in dark orange, which is unique to this set, which is 10686 Family House from 2015. Uh, and for some reason, I just like to have one of every hairpiece and face and things like that. Uh, but yeah, for that price, it was worth it anyway. So no problem there. Uh, and not... Technically unique, but pretty much unique, uh, it, which is a contradiction in terms, is this purple top with the stripes on. I hadn't seen it before, and I checked, uh, and it has actually technically been in a set before, but that was an inside tour set from 2016. Uh, so this is the first time it's appeared in a sort of regular set. Uh, so it's the first time I've ever had it available to me. So yeah, really like that one as well. Uh, and then the uh, fella from that set as well. Uh, and he's got nothing uh, unique about him at all, so he's quite boring. Then I've got two of these game counter type pieces, and one is a sort of ye olde knight uh, with a nice crown logo on, which is why I got him, which is the logo of Brick Nottingham. Uh, so that knight was part of a game called Lava Dragon uh, 3838. Uh, and the other one is from another game, 3858, uh, where he is a werewolf. Uh, and that set is called Wilderk Forest. And I will use both of these as uh, kind of toys, either in a toy sh uh, shop or basically as prizes, perhaps, on a fairground uh, game or something like that. Because I think they just look fantastic and you can see a kid sort of enjoying playing with one of these. It's just the right scale. So yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. They're never going to all stay stood up, so I'll ignore them. Uh, then we've got another big bag here, which is going to be rock pieces and bionicle pieces again, I think. Big avalanche there. Now these are immediately leaping out. Look at those. I mean, these look like some amazing sort of space weapon uh, with this sort of... Is that trans-neon or is that just... Uh, I don't know. We'll have to get the uh, the torch out later and see if that for us is uh, coming out of these very sort of shiny, uh, almost futury sort of, uh, well, <laughs> weapon ends. I don't know what you'd call them, really. Uh, now, these have been in um, a few sets, including 6231, Speeder Demon, uh, which is a hero factory sort of cool biker, where these are kind of the, I don't know, fumes coming out the back of it. Uh, and again, I thought I might, might be able to use these for plants. Now, I will have to hide the bottom bit uh, behind other foliage. 
uh, where I think it will look quite organic, especially if I have them sort of mirror images. They might look fairly organic. I quite like that. Uh, but again, they weren't that expensive, so I thought I'd give them a try. But yeah, I like those. Uh, loads and loads of slopes of all sorts of different descriptions, so I won't go through all of those. Uh, but that's interesting. Wow, that's massive. Yep, that's because it's Duplo. Uh, it's Duplo flower. And these actually have been around for absolutely ages. They've been around since 1996 and come in about 30 different colours. But I've never had one, so I thought I'd buy one. Uh, and this one came in 10904, Baby Animals. Oh, look at them. Very nice. Um, amongst other sets. And I just thought I'd buy one to see if I could use it as uh, a plant I'm under sea again. And I thought this colour of dark pink would be quite an interesting one to try. I mean, that's the sort of bloom that could be in between those two um, uh, uh, flying ant wings, if anything. Probably with a bit of foliage. Or it could even go on the top of that. I mean, look at that. Oh, wow, that looks quite good, actually. I'd have to work out a way of connecting one to the other. Um, but, um, yeah, that looks quite good, actually. Sort of oversized undersea plant. Very good. Uh, I've done these a hundred times. These different colored barnacle feet in dark blue and dark red. These are for the secret build. That I should stop mentioning. As are these. So many of these sort of shaped plates. You'll never get it. Uh, I've got more of those tentacles in black this time. Now, that's not very planty coloured, so I think I'll probably try and use these two as tentacles for sure. Uh, they've been on more than one set, uh, including 8994, which is either pronounced Baranus or Baranus. <laughs> I don't know, um, but that's set from 2009. Uh, I imagine it's the former rather than the latter. Uh, but yeah, they're quite good. Nice sort of wobbly pieces uh, with these sort of holes throughout. I mean, you could even attach sort of spikes onto those or something, uh, at least at the top end anyway. So yeah, I've got a pair of those. Similar piece is this gun belt type uh, thing, which is usually on Hero Factory sets, but also is on the 70613 Gama Mecha Man, which is an awesome set. Uh, from the Lego Ninjaga movie. I mean, I didn't buy any of those sets and I don't really collect that uh, range or anything, but I do very much appreciate the sort of silly nature of some of those um, Ninjago sets. I mean, this one's got a shark sort of gun as part of the mech that fires fish. <laughs> and you can see the fish all sort of being loaded up on this gun belt. Uh, so I really like that sort of humour. That's the sort of humour I'm going for with my SSP and things like that. So it's all a bit silly. Uh, and definitely not to be taken seriously. Uh, so, yeah, I bought that for an experiment. I don't know where I'm going to use that, to be honest. So, ideas for that one, maybe. So most of this is fairly not interesting, but this certainly is interesting. Wow! Look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. So, this is from Scrawl, 8978. Uh, the 2009 version of Scroll, not the 2010 one, uh, and it's his shield. And I just bought that for its wonderful, almost sort of maze-like Celtic knot type uh, shape, really. And it's got this jagged edge. So I don't know if it's going to be a buzzsaw for an evil villain, or it could almost be sort of the sign for like a Chinese restaurant or something, couldn't it? Or a piece of art. I don't really know. Uh, and I've already got a couple of the uh, wing type pieces or weapon type pieces or blades or whatever you might call them from the same set. And the red on those is a lot brighter, actually. Uh, so maybe it's faded on this one. I don't know. But I don't think I'd be using them in the same place anyway. Um, but nonetheless. So, yeah, maybe ideas for that. But I'm thinking just a wall hanger, really. I just think it looks beautiful uh, just as it is, just on its own for no apparent reason. Really like that. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's that. Oh, and I've got another one of those sort of rock, uh, Hero Factory rock armor pieces that I've uh, gone through a dozen times as well. So, yeah. Right, so, last bag. And this is all the little bits. So I should probably make a little hole for those in here and tip them in. Oh, and he's already made me a lovely, great big, tall uh, totem pole of heads. So we can go through that as well. And it seems I've got a free sticker on the outside of this bag, which I definitely didn't order, so that's no problem for me. <laughs> but I might uh, carefully remove that so I can use it for my mining uh, setup. 
because that's uh, where it's come from, I think, or at least that demolition site, I think, uh, that I've got. It's got one of those. Right, so heads in no particular order. So we've got two at the top there from the Series 4 hockey player, uh, or ice hockey player, as we'd call it in the UK. But, yeah, I haven't got that character, so I haven't got his head, but I always like sort of quite angry uh, things because they make for funny scenes. Talking of angry heads, I've also got the uh, Professor Brainstein, as I think of him, from Ultra Agents, but I think he was also Parkop from the Lego movie there underneath that. I've got one from the Exo Force line, uh, Rio, uh, and he's been in sets like 7706, Mobile Defense Tank, which has definitely got a contender for the best SSP gun, that great big Gatling gun on the top. I don't know if that's a bit too big for the SSP, uh, but it's uh, definitely a design I should consider. Uh, and then we've got one here, which is another sort of fun outrage type look, uh, or a smile on the other side, and that's from Alien Conquest, uh, one of the ADU, uh, uh, Alien Defense Unit people, uh, which has been in 853301, the Alien Conquest Battle Pack, amongst others. The green-eyed one is Lloyd, uh, and these two ones at the bottom are, are, are Cole, of course, from, from all sorts of millions of Ninjago sets. Uh, and then there we've got my replacement Series 10 Skydiver head, which I'll give back to the Skydiver I took it from when I used it in my wind tunnel uh, in my Ferrari uh, testing centre sort of HQ. So, uh, yeah, they have gone without a head for a bit, uh, so they can have that back. So, yeah, no sort of staggering heads there, but um, some really fun ones, mostly angry ones that I can use uh, for fun scenes. So that's good. Talking of heads, got two more. Horrible Simpsons heads. I really don't like these very much at all, but these are going to be used that way around. So uh, a while back, I got some Marge Simpson heads that I was going to use as brain coral, and these are very similar. So these are uh, obviously Patty and Selma. Uh, both from the Series 2 of the um, Simpsons uh, minifigure line. Uh, and they look like brain corals, I think. And the fact that they're in the same shade and are slightly different shapes really adds to it, I think. I'll just have to position those so you can't see their heads, uh, their faces rather, uh, or their brightly coloured earrings. But yeah, they look great. So that's nice. Ah, and here is one of the other pieces that I was desperate to get, but just couldn't find absolutely anywhere. And it's the Sangreen Octopus, finally, <laughs> from 70631, Garmadon's Volcano Lair from 2017. And the character that has uh, this on his head is called Four Eyes, presumably because he's got two of his own eyes and a two on the top of his head as part of this octopus. Uh, but it still sounds a bit unkind, but nonetheless. Uh, but I'm going to use him as a genuine octopus. Uh, and I've already got a couple of these in that dark orange alternative colour. But this will be my first one in this. So I can finally cross that off my list as well. Phew! Uh, and then another very interesting piece is this one. And this is another one of my collections. Grown. <laughs> Always collecting things as our Robin. Um, but yeah, I've been collecting for a while. Not that avidly, but all of the different variations of these uh, old style city Lego set boxes. Uh, and the last one that was outstanding was this one, uh, which is quite interesting in the sense that it is actually a picture of the set that it came in, which was the giant Lego city truck, 3221. Um, so yeah, that uh, set was the only one that had this particular piece in it, uh, and it actually represented the set itself. So I finally got that one, so I can put that collection to rest as well. Uh, now I've got a lot of a lot of these little grabbers to hold fish and things like that and plant life under the sea. I've got quite a lot of these uh, flipper pieces for doing uh, leaves for under the sea. And oh, I've got a few one by one round tiles in lime, which I think are apples for my farm, for the orchard. Uh, and then the only other real piece of any interest is this, another head, but he's sort of representing a sort of coconut monster, <laughs> a part of that uh, uh, Moana film uh, where they sort of chase after them, don't they, I think. Uh, so he's a Kakamora from 41150, Moana's Ocean Voyage. Uh, and I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to use these for. There's only one here, but I've got a few in the past. I was thinking of maybe making them into a coconut shy. Uh, for my um, 
uh, fairground. So, you know, coconut game where you've got to knock them off by throwing a ball. At least it's a game of skill. So, yeah, that's nice to have as well. So I think I've gone through all the interesting pieces there. Must remember to save that little sticker that's attached to the bag. But that is a very varied haul, uh, which will have lots more crowds for my city. Lots of pieces for undersea, both in terms of uh, rock faces and great big plants and things like that. And a few really interesting other pieces, including those ant wings that are sort of buried under there. These and these. All sorts of really good stuff. Uh, and most importantly to me personally are the ones that I've kind of hidden now in here being all these special pieces to complete my Ultra Agent side builds uh, and this fella here. Awesome haul, really happy with that one. So another very diverse haul with all sorts of different pieces, colours and shapes and stuff. You can see what I meant at the beginning when I said I had some sort of weird things going on like with these uh, icy pieces, these sort of rotting fish pieces and even these fantastic uh, icy spiky pieces. I've really got to get a second one of those so I can do some sort of hilarious yeti <laughs> feet. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do for the legs and then maybe it just sort of goes kind of off screen so to speak. I don't know how that'd work but uh, it does sound funny to me. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think a really good haul. I think you'll agree. So if you've got any good ideas that I haven't covered for any of this, then do put some suggestions into the comments section. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. Your support will be very gratefully received. Uh, and next time on Robin Hood Bricks, uh, I don't know exactly what we'll be doing on Friday. Uh, the channel's in a bit of a, a mix at the moment, just because I've got so much going on. Uh, in fact, this is the last package I have to go through as a haul, so I better get ordering if I'm going to be doing a brick haul at all next week. Um, but uh, I want to be using these pieces as fast as I'm buying them, rather than letting them all pile up. So uh, yeah, I've got to uh, get myself in gear. But uh, whatever we get up to on Friday, I'm sure we'll have a great time. So until then, see you.